GMA's Survival Week. And, you know, just past this past weekend, a teenage surfer was badly bitten by a shark in South Florida. He was lucky to be saved by other people on the beach. But surviving an attack isn't just about luck, as ABC's Matt Gutman is here to tell us this time with an incredible demonstration to boot. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Laura. This time I had to jump in to the deep end to learn how to fend off sharks with my hands and feet. But even though we had a number of safety precautions, including wearing chainmail armor, what you're about to see is probably one of the most terrifying experiences I have ever had. This is the terrifying moment a great white attacked swimmer Steve Robles just off of Los Angeles Beach during an early morning swim. You can just hear everything crunch. I was staring at this shark eyeball to eyeball. Robles says he jabbed the shark's nose hard and luckily it let go of him. It was the most frightening thing anyone could ever experience. Experts count 53 shark attacks along U.S. coastlines last year. But according to Special Forces operator and survival expert Terry Shepard, surviving a shark attack isn't as impossible as it may seem. To show us, he took me to an especially shark-ridden part of the Bahamas, where the natural beauty belied what's beneath. First, a quick scuba dive to get our bearings. There are sharks everywhere. We're in a frenzy of reef sharks, up to 10 feet long, less aggressive, and with a less lethal bite than great whites. Here we go, man. We're right in the middle of the backyard. We're about to do what they tell you not to do, float on the surface where it's most dangerous to humans, because the sharks are flapping hands, legs, and feet and look like food. These sharks can smell a part of blood in a million parts of water, okay? So everything down there is going to smell like food, including you. We're simulating a normal person getting dumped in shark-infested waters. The trick is we have chain mail to protect us. Don't try this at home. You ready? No. Off we go. Gallantly, I let Terry go first. Ah! I just landed on one. <laughs> They are just bumping us right and left. And it's in the midst of this school of 25 sharks that my lesson begins. Whether it's great whites or reef sharks, Terry says the advice is the same. So let's try to skip back to back. Now we're linked arms. Now, link. now we got each other for protection. Okay. If we're on top of the water thrashing, yep. <laughs> that's potential food. Right. Stuff in their face. If they come in and it becomes an attack, yep. you're going to strike them. All right. Quick fast, punch down, and that way you're going to guarantee you're going to hit them somewhere around here and they don't like that. So it's the eyes, it's the gills, it's the nose, the snout. Exactly, man. This is where all their sensory stuff is concentrated. Okay. All you can do is fight and let them know I'm not going down easy. Mm -hmm. Within minutes, the sharks roll over us. Oh! And it's a fight to keep them off. The best thing for me right now is fending them off with my feet. Kind of like that one. Yeah. You do the best you can to keep them off of you. But it doesn't always work. Oh. The sharks keep coming. Yeah, you're saying good morning, sir. Ow. Watch this. Okay. One going right over my head. Let's get in. And that was enough for me. That one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. That, that was enough for <laughs> you? That was enough for me. Sharks don't eat people. Uh, most of the attacks that we've seen are cases of mistaken identity. Sharks often mistake hands and feet. Uh, they don't have hands, so they use their mouths to taste things. So, you know, what's remarkable about this is that they didn't bite us. I mean, we were in the water. We gave them every opportunity to chomp on us, and they're smart enough to know, <laughs> laughter Good. here, yeah. smart enough to know the difference between fish and friend and man and Was there food. a point where you were just like, what am I doing? The, the whole, yeah, the entire <laughs> endeavor was, I let Terry go first. I really didn't want to jump in. I was terrified. I'm but you did it. I'm almost afraid to know what you're going to teach us to survive next. <laughs> Plane crashes and boat crashes is next. But oh, wow. a caveat here, we did not hurt those sharks. Hey. We were just pushing them. I think it's clear that, yeah. You volunteered for this assignment, right? I did. I joked it. <laughs> okay. Maybe the last one, though. You, you know? and Ginger should go do something together. We're going like to be tethered. We're going to make a great team. So too. <laughs> I tell you, what, you win the insane anchor of the month, right there. Yeah. That, that right there, you. that that yeah. was that was very impressive. Thank you for every time myself in that situation. I now know what to do. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be thinking of you.